good morning and we're on the Baldwin Trail a little chilly this morning but uh, we definitely beat the crowds here so um, everything I'm reading says this gets a little crowded so um, me and Bowman got up early and decided to hit the trail so here we go it's gonna be a fun one Oh okay. my, look at that. Oh, and I'm not talking about the little puppy there. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh my, look at this. What a great little hike. Absolutely just stunning back here. It's so freaking quiet. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay, what a great place for a 
a little rest and a little rant, right? Um, so last night I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm always thinking about why people are, are watching hiking into retirement, hiking, watching my videos and stuff like that. And I got to thinking to myself, you know, what if, what if you're watching me and I'm either your brother, your dad, or your grandpa? You're thinking to yourself, that could be my grandpa. <laughs> I'm 63 years old, so I could be your grandpa. And you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, I wonder if my grandpa or my dad or my brother or my uncle thinks the same way that Tony does. Well, if I think this way about certain things, maybe other people do too, you know, and it could be your granddad, you know, and it's probably hard to believe, especially if you're younger and you're watching my videos, if you're sitting there going, uh, he's the same age as my grandpa. And then I got to thinking to myself, this one, you'll love this. How, what do you think would happen if, you know, you're older and you walk up to your grandpa and you say, grandpa, here's the keys to the van. We want you to pack it up, take your dog, and we want you to go off exploring the United States. I really want to know this in comments. I know I keep saying this, but how many of you will your grandpa, that you would think that your grandpa or your dad or your uncle would do exactly what I was doing, given the chance. I'm dying to see. I, again, I'm 63 years old, so I could be a grandpa. Don't get any thoughts, Tucker, um, or River. <clears throat> but how many grandpas out there would just jump on the chance to disappear like I'm doing? I think there's more than you think. Go ask grandpa, say, would you do that? I'm sure some of you guys are sitting there going, without a shadow of a doubt, my grandpa or dad would jump in the vehicle with his dog and disappear for months on months. And then on top of all that, could be grandmas too. I know a lot of women that are commenting that are saying, I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I've done the same thing you're doing, or I'm going to do the same thing. So I think you'd be surprised. Um, the older people in your life that are ready for a, an adventure and an exploration of finding themselves. So that's what I was thinking about last night. And I think that's cathedral rock. So we're going to be hiking around it. So that was my thought. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love for you to comment down there and say, Tony, my grandpa's right there with you. Or my dad. Or my brother. Or my grandma. So, all right. We better uh, keep hiking. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to spin... I think I figured out six days in the Sedona area, especially since I'm camping for free. So um, we're going to get a move on it. Uh, it's beautiful. See ya. Beautiful hike. Well, I just met one of the in most interesting ladies in a long time. Okay. I, I feel horrible. Two things. I feel horrible. I did catch your name, Annie. Annie, you said you were going to subscribe. I hope you subscribe. Two things I feel horrible about is, number one, I didn't interview you. I just, I, I, you were so interesting. And then number two, I thought it would be 
very uh, rude of me to ask you your age. So, forgive me, Annie. But, Annie was so interesting. She has lived all over and pretty much has done what I'm doing. She travels by herself, she hikes, and she... So let's just, for giggles, we say, oh, sorry, Annie, 70? Six, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I hate ages, but I wanna get my point across. You know, she has not let age slow her down out here hiking by herself and what an interesting lady boy what an inspiration I tried to get her oh man I tried to get her she needs a YouTube channel man talk about an interesting lady she's skied all over she's lived in the Alps, uh, Bo, Bo, don't go there. Not good. Um, she's lived in the Alps. She's skied all over. She's a big time skier. And uh, gosh, I'm kicking myself. You know what? Uh, her car is parked in the same parking lot as I. That'd be fun to see if I could meet back up with her and interview her but what a beautiful hike what a beautiful hike absolutely well you're hearing some water down this way so you know Bo man he's heading towards the water oh cool yep he's found water that dog. Yep, oh man, you found water. <clears throat> well, we kind of found it. There you go. That's what we heard. Yeah, beautiful. Bobby, <laughs> he can't figure out how to get in. Yeah. It's deep, man. It's deep, old man. It's beautiful, that's for sure. It is beautiful. Now, I'm, I know I say all the time, the beauty, but the beauty, oh my, Bowman loves it. Look at that. Hey Bo, you love it? Absolutely. Beautiful, just beautiful water so clear oh my very cool very cool okay now you need a little breath do a little elevation and bowman starting to run out of energy he's in the back now so
My, oh my. Quite the climb. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Just amazing up here. Can't believe this. Well worth it. Oh man, how you doing? Hot? I know. <sighs> amazing. Simply amazing. Love it. Beautiful day. Hiking with my buddy. Bo Bo. Bo man. Bo. You hot? Yep, of course he is. A little hike, find a little water, that's what he does. But You know me and Bowman. Hey, Bo. This is just our YouTube channel, and we're brutally honest with people. So, you know, I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of people that disagree with me. But so we spent the day hiking in Sedona. Well, you know, one of the trails, the Cathedral Rock. And, uh, it, Sedona, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but crowded, wow. And I'm sure the people who are watching that have been to Sedona are saying, yeah, I talked to a few people that actually, you know, live outside of Sedona and work in Sedona. And they were like, you hadn't seen anything. This, this isn't even the off season. Or, this is the off season. This isn't even in season yet. You should see it. But today, bumper to bumper. And the trails, you run into a, a lot of people on the trails. But, yeah, we're pretty much this. So, me and Bowman, 
grabbed whatever we we wanted and we headed back to camp <laughs> you know there's like nobody out here so i mean this is what we have so um every every day we've been hiking the the mountains out here you know it's it's not sedona it's not the you know beautiful cliffs and and stuff like that but whoa man oh man is it crowded every trailhead every trailhead is packed with cars every overlooked is packed with cars beautiful 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 but whew, it is crowded so just got back to our camp uh oh hey boy <laughs> Um, we just got back to our camp and so we're kind of running on some adrenaline. We left here around 6.30 this morning, got on the trail before pretty much anybody else did. So, but, uh, yeah, we're going to hang out here for a little bit and regroup and try to figure out what we're going to do next. But yeah, um, between you and me. I'm not looking forward to uh, heading back into Sedona and doing that bumper to bumper. Uh, I went all the way through Sedona, West Sedona, um, Oak Creek, you know, but again, it's a busy place. So we're going to chill out here and you doing okay over there, huh? Were you tired too? You're glad to be back here, aren't you? He can just kind of run loose here versus in Sedona where tons of people. So, yep, that's going to be the, the scene today. So just thought I'd give you an update of uh, our feelings towards beautiful Sedona. But like I said, it's beautiful. So, all right, man. Okay, well, me and Bowman, we're heading out of Sedona, our cool little camp spot, and we're going to head up towards Flagstaff, and then I'll probably duck our head into the Grand Canyon, but <clears throat> you know us, we're honest with you what we're saying. I'm sure it's going to be, the Grand Canyon is going to be just like Sedona. It, look at, it is just, it's packed. And it's not in season at all, they said. So, we're going to kind of take our time driving up towards Flagstaff and look for a, a cool place that you know it's more our vibe so it it has been bumper to bumper so I'm sure anybody who's been out here is like yeah no kidding Tony <laughs> so I mean every little place that there's a trailhead uh, is filled I mean, you can't pull into any spot to go hiking because it is just packed. This is... Well, good morning. Whew. It was a chilly one. So, uh, we made it to Flagstaff. Pretty cool town. I like it. Very chilly. And a little... Uh, snow flurries this morning when we woke up so yes. Woo. yeah it, it's a little gray out and we're heading that direction so yeah we might hang out for a day and not uh really do a whole lot of anything kind of warm up here it's supposed to get a whole lot uh nicer tomorrow so maybe we'll head up uh to the grand canyon tomorrow so 
anyway we just spent the night in a hotel parking lot last night or with some other uh boondockers so felt pretty comfy there and uh so yeah i guess we'll just explore what F flagstaff is about but yeah i like it it's a, a clean town and clean city and yeah look at those clouds those clouds are massive so anyway chore today i know you guys hate hearing this but i gotta take a shower <laughs> so uh i was looking last night and i found a few places so um might as well do it in flagstaff chisel off some of that dirt on me so uh hey thanks so much for watching and uh hang in there but yeah 18 degrees a little chilly last night good thing i have bowman oh yeah good thing snowing in flagstaff look at this <laughs> and we're gonna have to hunker down somewhere this is uh crazy it is blowing it is slippery Snowing in Flagstaff. This is our day today. Oh, she's coming down now. Yeah. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm glad we're just parked here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna hunker down here at this gas station for a little bit. It's pretty slippery out there, so I think we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Kind of watch the snow come down. Well, kind of a, a lazy day here in Flagstaff. Um, let me show you what we got going on. Yeah. It's cold. It's really cold. Bowman trying to eat while he's sitting here and get something in his tummy. So we're at a place called Travel America. Um, it's a really cool place. Uh, the Big Dino. But uh, if you've never been to Travel America, oh my God great showers unbelievable showers uh fifteen dollars anyway back to the showers okay we're just stuck inside it is snowing it's cold Bo wants to snuggle um but those little america i don't know if they're anywhere else but here we go, a shower rant, but anyway, because we're not doing anything today. Sorry, not videotaping anything. We've just been stuck in the Little America in Flagstaff, Arizona. Cold, cold, cold. But bear with me because the people who have already been here, they know, but I didn't. Um, $15 for a shower. Now, I haven't paid no $15 for a shower, but I would do it again. Uh, $15 gets you this private room that has a bathtub slash jacuzzi in it. Marble, marble um, showers a toilet a vanity full-size vanity with a sink and everything else and they give you a towel and stay in there as long as you want wow that was incredible oh, i actually think i stayed there for uh 45 minutes and washed off uh i think it was right at 10 pounds of dirt so 
Anyway, that was incredible. Incredible. So the entire time I was in there, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to tell you guys this, but you know me. Look at this. Just, you know me. I just kind of uh, say it all. But I didn't want to say anything, because. but I started thinking about it after I took a shower here. Okay. When I was in New Mexico, I took a shower at a gym. And it was $3. Hey, boy, man. Oh, I know. I know. Boy, man, he's cold. Um, it was $3. I was thrilled. I didn't tell you guys this. I mean, you guys knew that I went in there. But when I came out, okay, this was, you know, I'm not a working out type guy, as you can tell. Um, $3. I walk in there and I don't see any shower stalls or anything. So I'm like, I see a couple of doors and I went and opened a couple of doors and a couple of, uh, 70 something year old guys come walking up going, Hey, we'll show you, we'll show you around naked. Okay. Now I know you guys are probably going to think, uh, Tony, it's, you know, whatever, but I don't even want to see myself naked in the mirror. I sure don't want to see 70 year old guys naked walking around like they, you know, Oh my God. So then they proceed to tell me, okay, well, um, here, you could put your stuff in your locker right here and the showers are around the corner and I, uh, thanks. Eye contact, eye contact. Yeah, thanks. Could you get a towel on? Um, again, for those who work out all the time is probably sitting here looking at me going, Tony, you're an idiot, but yeah, I, I so anyway, so I look into the shower and it's just one big open shower. That quick takes me back to high school. Sorry guys, if any high my high school classmates are watching, sorry that I felt this way, but <laughs> you know, a bunch of old guys uh, taking a shower together. Uh, I was like, oh, just get me out of here. Of course, I took a shower. And when I was taking a shower, straight ahead, please, dear Lord, let me not drop anything because if I drop anything when I was in the shower, it is staying on the floor. I'm not looking down. I'm not, you know, if I drop my wallet or something, maybe I'll, I would try the toe grab. But anything else, it's staying on the ground. So... Then you're, there was no place to put a towel. So you're like, yeah, it was not a good experience for me. So back to this, Little America, where you have your own privacy, it was worth the $15, trust me. So didn't mean to gross anybody else out, but since we're just looking at this all day and this, we don't have a lot to do today so here's going to be the plan uh, again if you've never been to little america i don't know if they're all over the united states or just here in flagstaff but it's a huge truck stop with this huge restaurant big tv football games or uh, college games are playing um restaurant um a whole store, gas station, showers, open 24 hours a day. And uh, you can stay here all night. And I saw some reviews that people have stayed here like for four days. Well, you know, probably going up to the Grand Canyon and stuff like that and then come back here to Boondock. So it's a great place to Boondock. You could take a shower and get a bite to eat and and hang out and they keep the trucks on one side and the cars on the other and 
So it is going to be a chilly night, but hopefully the weather is going to break and we're going to go see the Grand Canyon tomorrow. It's like, I think 60 or 90, I think 60 miles up the road. And uh, yeah, we'll get an early start and mosey on out of here. So um, that's pretty much it for today. You know, I've been on the road. It's going to be two months real quick here. And one day out of two months, that is a nothing day. That's not bad at all, huh? I think God's been with me, that's for sure. And with Bowman, too. So, um, it's been one of those days where, and I really didn't have it, you know, anything else to do. So, we just kind of been hanging out here. I'll leave Bobo in the the van for a little bit. I'll go inside, watch a, a little bit of football, and come back out. So, all right. Anyway, that's the story. If anything exciting happens, you'll be the first to know. But the way it sets right now, this is the way it sets right now. So, <laughs> I want to be doing something. Oh, and it's windy too. It's just a miserable day out. It's cold, wet, windy. And I thought a couple of times, maybe start making my way up towards the Grand Canyon. And I thought, oh, it'd just be my luck. I get stuck somewhere on the side of the road or it's muddy or, or something like that. So I guess it's just best just to stay put. Just to stay put. I had another turkey sandwich. Bowman already ate. So look at this. Here's another thing. I have this couch in Sandy, okay? I made him this bed. Bo, I made you that bed over there. But this dog prefers this. Oh, and another thing. Here's a picture of when I'm driving. Here's a picture of Bo. Yeah, kind of crazy, huh? Uh, why did I make that bed? He just wants to get so close. So anyway, he he's <laughs> he's on the <laughs> he's such a good dog. He, he's on his bed, and when I'm on the couch here, he's like, "Can I come over there? Can I snuggle with you, folks? If you have a." You know what I'm talking about, right? They're family. So, all right. If uh, we don't check back in with you, um, we will check back in in the morning as we head to the Grand Canyon. Right, Bo Man? Bo. Bo. Right? You want to go to the Grand Canyon? <laughs> all right. Well, we'll... Talk at you later. All right. Well, boom. This is how we woke up. Good morning, Bo. Well, this is how we woke up this morning. A solid sheet of ice on the windshield. 20 degrees. It's cold. But Bo has to go eat. So, I don't think I brought a scraper. Might have to use the credit card. So, welcome to Flagstaff. Burr.